Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to do eBay templates to speed up your listing process. So essentially, first off, you want to be on the creator listing page, which is basically very easy to get to. You just click sell at the top left hand corner and then it will di redirect your, this is what it does for me. It redirects me to my active listing page and then over on the right hand corner or well, just over on the right hand side, there's a little blue button that says create a listing. Click that, you'll have a little drop down menu it'll say single listing or multi listing just click the single listing option and it will take you to this page i think that the multi listing option also takes you to this page but i don't generally click on that much so i don't know it might take you to a different page but yeah anyway just click on the single listing option it'll take you directly to this page and instead of doing what we would normally do or what i'm assuming you would normally do and type just any old title in here for example doctor who figures or whatever it may be um then instead of doing that you can see down down here we've got a listing templates uh, sort of section now obviously you can see here I've got some listing templates set up now I don't generally use listing templates that much um, but over the last week or so I've started to use them more and since I've got to grips with them a little bit more I thought what I would do is share it with you guys help you out a little bit if you're maybe new to uh, new to listing templates or maybe you you aren't but you know maybe you're new to reselling or something like that these will really help you out if you have sort of similar items they don't work on the things that i list certain, you know certain things like antiques or collectibles things like that i'm not going to be bothering with listing templates for those things but certain things like you know generic figure bundles you know as i've got here doctor who figure bundles ben 10 figure bundles when you've got just a generic you know just a generic figure bundle you can do a similar title all the rest of it but with that being said we'll get on and we'll click down here create a new template so we're just going to click on this and then i'll walk you through the process of actually creating a template and I might even show you one of mine at the end just to show you you know another example so essentially here we, we come to this page it looks a lot like the create a listing page but what this is going to actually allow you to do is save a template that then you can list from and it means that you don't have to fill in all the different areas on the listing page every time so you can actually like sort of streamline your listing um, so the template name isn't going to be viewable by anyone but yourself when you're just selecting it from the drop down menu that you saw earlier on so basically let's just say you want a reference point so for example we've just got a generic bundle of doctor who figures so you can just type in uh, doctor who figures well just put general doctor who figures in there and then that will just give you an indication when you come to use a template what the template is for so then we want to come down to the title which will be viewable by buyers and we can just type in here uh, doctor who um well I'll put um put bbc doctor who um, I know that all the figures I'm listing are character options, so character options, um, I don't know, uh, oh, there'll be 5 inch, 5 inch, uh, sci-fi, um, alien figures bundle, right? So that's like a fairly generic title, we're not giving away... Um, you know any specifics in that title it's just a generic title and I will show you what I do um, in a minute as well just I've not put five inch there I didn't click shift there we go five inch sci-fi alien figure so just we read that back BBC dot two character options five inch sci-fi alien figures bundle there we go fair enough now you might be thinking well you know, um, what what other information are you, know, are you going to put in there to make it a little bit more specific to the listing? I will do that in a minute. I'll show you that in a sec. So then what you can do is just uh, select your category. It's not going to be video games. I don't know why it's uh, saved it on that, but eBay uh, suggested categories can sometimes be a bit uh, sporadic. So yeah, I'm going to actually put this in toys and games, TV and movie character toys. So that should be kind of what it what it would fit in the best, I would say. So let me just load that. Right, there we go. So that's loaded up. And um, then we can put, well, I'm going to put EA, EAN doesn't apply because it's a bundle. So there's going to be all different EANs. Um, and then we can put the condition. So let's just say, oh, I, I thought it would actually give me. 
Toys and games, TV and movie character toys. I suppose that's the right category, isn't it? But before, it gave me another option. It gave me good condition, acceptable, very good. So I don't know. But we can just put as used. Let's say that your um, condition sort of table there is coming up with like uh, very good, good, acceptable. Just basically put on the template the condition that best fits the majority of the items that you're listing using this template. So for example, if you get loads of different figures in, you know, and you know that you're not going to get figures in that are in rough condition or acceptable condition, and generally most of the figures you're going to get in are, are good, very good, or, you know, even perfect condition or whatever, then obviously you can just specify maybe good as a minimum, and then you can always change that on the individual listing, you know, it's not set in stone, you can actually fiddle around with each individual listing anyway. So I'm just going to put used there. And then obviously the photos are going to be individual to that specific listing. So, you know, you can just say, um, basically, um, you know, just leave that. Um, so then what we can do is we can put in the item specific. So then you don't have to do that every time. So just going to put in the brand character options, uh, toy type. I'm guessing that'll be figure. Um, uh, at MPN, I'm going to put does not apply. Character, that's going to be, doesn't apply anyway because obviously we've got various different characters. Character family, I'm guessing that will be Doctor Who, yep. Um, and then essentially we can just, you know, go through and do the, you know, kind of item specifics as it would be done. Custom bundle, what's that? Oh, I suppose it. Is it a custom bundle? I'm just going to leave that blank anyway. But the ones you don't know, you don't have to fill in. You know, item specifics isn't like you have to fill in every one. Um, but yeah, essentially, so you can just do that quite easily. Fill in a few of the item specifics that, that are, um, you know, attributed to all the bundles you're going to be listing on this actually actual template. And then what we can do is we can copy the title here. This is what I do for all my listings. Copy the title just because it's easy. Um, you get good at doing just the easy things when you've been doing this for a while. Um, so, BBC.2 character options, 5 inch sci fi alien figures bundle. Um, uh, and then you could just put, you know, on these figures, let's just say, there might be a little bit of play well on a few of them. So, just to cover all the bases, you just put um, in used condition, um, may have some play wear to figures. Or. If you're a bit worried about, you know, some play wear, you could always put just some light play wear just to give people the idea that actually there's not much play wear to it, but just a little tiny bit, so that then they're not put off buying it. Um, so yeah, you could just put that in there, and then that's just a general description for the, um, you know, all the items you're listing with this template. I'm going to do fixed price, and I'm going to do not good till cancelled. I'm going to do 30 day cycle. I'm going to put a generic uh, price for all these figure bundles that I'll be listing using this template as 9 95 because that's just my, my generic price for a bundle of four Doctor Who figures. I get that quite easily. It's quite a nice price to go for. And I'm going to go Royal Mail second class, but we're going to go obviously 3 49 in here to cover my eBay postage fee, to cover a little bit of uh, packing materials and PayPal fees, etc., and also to cover the actual postage charge. So always make sure you are covering yourself with your postage charge. And then essentially you can select your dispatch time and the rest of it. Make sure that you've gone up. You make sure that, you know, if you want buyers to send you offers on the item, click that, etc. Just go go up and obviously have a look. Make sure that, you know, you're all right. Everything seems like it's uh, pretty good. You've obviously covered all your bases. You've, you've um, you know, you've gone through and um, done all the things you want to do. I've just realized there actually what I'm going to do. Just uh, put this here into the condition note and then it just uh, obviously it shows up better on the listing if that is in the condition note as well so we've got in used condition may have some slight, slight, slight light play wear to figures if i can even speak um so yeah it seems in good good order to me this template obviously as i say you put your, your photos in afterwards um you can you know you can pad it out a bit i'm doing this very fast um you can obviously pad out your item specifics pad out the title if you want but i'm just doing it very fast to be honest i wouldn't put anything else in the in the description anyway you don't necessarily i think people get too flamboyant with descriptions i mean if it's a higher value item yeah go for it do like two paragraphs or whatever if you want but if it's just a fairly low value item and it, there's not a lot to talk about with it you don't need a big description so essentially i'm just gonna you can then just save the template so i'm just gonna save that and it should take me back and then just click i've finished now and it should take me back oh no it won't it'll take oh yeah yeah it does take me back to that page so now what you can see 
is it should show up on here. So we've got general Doctor Who figures. So now what you can do is you can actually start listing with this template. So just click start listing here instead of actually going up to the top screen and typing in the title. And then you're going to be thinking, well, you need to personalize this listing a little bit. So obviously the personalization comes in the different photos, of course. But also what I do at the end of the title, I make sure I've got a few characters free. Let's just say... Um, we've got, you know, a figure bundle with Rose uh, with Rose in it and then maybe Mickey uh, Smith or something in there. Well, it just won't let me put Mickey Smith. So you could always take out maybe bundle and then just put Rose and then Mickey Smith or something. Just put a couple of the characters from the actual bundle. Not all of them because you won't be able to fit it in the title. But it just then that, that obviously helps in search. If someone's typing for a Rose Doctor Who figure, it comes up. So just put a couple of them in there. And all you literally do, it takes five seconds. You just type that in there and then type that... Uh, paste that on the end of the title there again just gives it a little bit of personalization and also you're not getting into any issue with duplicate listing policy and all the rest of it but you shouldn't do anyway while doing this because you'll have different photos every time and it's generally your photos that we pick up on a lot um you know if you've got like same photo same title same everything but just to get a little bit of personalization just do that again you shouldn't run in with, uh, to any trouble with the duplicate listings so you just uh, tag that on the end of the title the character name Names, and then obviously do your photos, make sure you cropped them, do professional photos, obviously all the rest of it. You guys know all that sort of stuff anyway. Um, and then basically you literally go down the list, you think, right, is everything square? Just literally a quick glance, right, 995 by it now, uh, postage cost 349, brilliant, free working days. Uh, do, 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 uh, allow buyers to remain anonymous, uh, sorry, allow buyers to make offers, we don't want that on, so that's good, uh, you know, the title and description's cool, item specifics are cool, photos are all in order once you've got them listed, uh, you know, once you've got them uploaded, that's cool, used condition, brilliant, does not apply, brilliant, title's cool, and then you literally click the list button, how quick is that, oh my god, it's so quick, I, I got through 10 listings in like 16 minutes, it was like two minutes of listing. I was like, whoa, you know, but as you can see, it works brilliantly, absolutely brilliantly for listings that are, uh, you know, generic bundles or, or the same or very, very similar items. You know, brand new in the box figures when you've got maybe 10 or 12 brand new in the box figures all from the same line, but maybe just different characters. That had worked brilliantly with this as well. So it's, you know, it, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. That's how you do it. Obviously, as I mentioned, you just then click list with displayed fees and then you can click create another one and then you just keep going around and you can really, really speed it up. Now, I know there's alternatives out there. I know there's different, you know, listing softwares out there that'll probably do it even quicker than this. But this is just a video on listing templates. Um, I may even get into do, uh, you know, using some of those listing softwares in the future. Um, but I, I at this moment, I've just not got around to doing that. Um, but yeah, this seems pretty quick, pretty uh, cool. So yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, I did try and want to make this quite short, but also I wanted to get cover everything, cover all the bases. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you did like this video and it did help you out, please do give it a like. For any comments, questions, or queries down below. And I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys.